morning. I'm Rapstein of Linden Associates with your morning flash update for this Monday, and this is the 2nd of November, 2020 at 9.40 a.m. Central Time. For those of you that watch me on YouTube, no, I did not do any weekend updates for you on YouTube. I did everything, though, for my uh, subscribers. I just simply took the weekend off. Got it? <laughs> it's that simple. Wish I had something fancy to tell you, but a uh, lot going on, and I had to get things done. So when looking at the markets, you can see you're getting another good rally today in the uh, Dow. Nice comeback, but it doesn't mean anything. I mean, you've got the election tomorrow. I doubt that many of us think we're going to hear that the presidential uh, decision has been made tomorrow night. Uh, we'll probably get a bunch of Senate races that can be decided. And then the question comes, as I wrote for my subscribers today, what happens with a Trump win? What happens with a Trump loss? What happens with a Biden win without getting the Senate? What happens with a Biden win with the Senate? Or what happens with a Trump win again with the Senate? I covered all these different areas for you. And that's what you're going to really be dealing with the rest of the week. So if you think the daily fundamentals that come in, and by the way, we had a good set of them, uh, market groups, uh, U.S. manufacturing sector PMI came in at 53.4. The preliminary was at 53.3. The expected was a bit higher at 56, but it's still okay. It's still growth. The ISM data, this was much stronger. The manufacturing composite 59.3 versus a 55.8. Uh, you were up in the prices. New orders index was up sharply, and we were up sharply in the employment. Construction spending down three tenths. That's two thirds less than what the market was looking for. Does it have any real meaning? Other than for short covering and positioning today, the simple fact is we take a look at it, but you have to understand, COVID-19 is changing the landscape again. The presidential elections might, and the regular elections, might change the landscape again. So with all that, where do you go? Well, the dollar index is getting a bit at the expense of some, not all of the currencies. The British pound down again. It was down 100. It's bounced a little from there. We are seeing the Brexit talks are continuing in face now between the Brits and the uh, European Union. Metal markets are up. Silver's already given back 30 cents of a huge gain that it made this morning. I like that copper is staying strong. And we're even seeing the platinum is joining into the rally. On the energy markets, I was recently on and people asked me what I thought would be a low price in the uh, crude when I was on BNN TV just recently. And I said anything under 35 is probably getting there in WTI. This morning you got to 33.64 and you're coming right back as you can see off that sharply lower in the nat gas markets Bitcoin remember you got to be now into the December contract and in the Brent you want to be into the Jans the others are not trading anymore as for the grain market a little bit of back and forth action we're still seeing that we're getting some business out of China we'd expect that right into year end now, when I look at these markets in the morning, that's when I give you the, the real juice of what's going on. And on the weekends, what do I mean by that? Well, whether you're looking at this on a computer, your uh, phones, whatever it is, the idea there is you bounce your ideas off me. I think I'm a seasoned pro, 54 years or so of being in this, uh, I think it's 52 actually, 52 years. I'm gonna cover with all the short term swings, longer term, and on the weekends, you're gonna get the weekly charts with the long term trades. Realize some of you want that. Included in all my subscriptions, you get my mobile app so that you can look at charts, you can see quotes as they're going on, you can watch my videos when they come out. If you get my written subscriptions, they all come in there. And I cover all these markets. Now, when I cover them, They'll be, if you're on our website, for example, there's going to be a scroll bar. And let's assume you just wanted to go to the metals. Just scroll. It's going to light up in big words. And it's going to say, metals, just let go. It plays. It saves you time. I do my best to give you the ideas as to what I think to do, when to do it. I'll give you an example. For the past, uh, starting Friday, I told my traders, stay away from the financial markets. No positions. Remember, this is the futures market. You can do that in the futures unlike what you can do with your portfolio of stocks, right? 
why stand on the train track is that bullet trains coming at you and now you at the last minute have to guess which way do you jump so you don't get hit. Well, why, why do that? I've got my 50 some odd years of training and I understand that you could get exactly what you want and the market goes the other way. How many times have you seen that? Guess what the smartest thing to do is? Have your cash ready. When an opportunity after the fact shows itself, you're stepping in. Do you need that initial pop or initial break? Some people think they do and God bless you, I hope you get it. I walk away from that. The cost of my service, the cost of a cup of coffee at a Starbucks or one of your premium places with the tip, $7.95 for 30 days. What do you have to lose? $7.95, come on. Just go to our website under the word research. It explains how you do that. If you need my staff to explain it, they can do it. They can take your credit card there or you can do it all online. It's the best way to get it done. I'm I. Rapstein. I will see you at the end of the day. I don't intend on taking any time off now with this all this going on so you can count that I'll be there for you. I'm Ira. Have a great trading day.